Okay, so we're getting somewhat uh, situated here. I got the platform built out a little bit more so that I can start to deconstruct the the dirt and build a, a better um, cobblestone generator made out of cobblestone, oddly enough. Um, the tree I just planted grew. Holy crap, this thing got huge. And now I can start putting down some torches because as I expand this out, we're going to have some problem with mobs. So i got to get that done next. Oh, look at that! The animation's in there. That's pretty damn cool. Cool. Alright, we got the platform pretty much lit up so that nothing else really can spawn here. Uh, that's great. Look at the damn uh, animations on this. This stuff is ridiculous. Alright, that's to hopefully help the, um, keep the ice block from forming back up again. Alright, let's keep going. And I just realized, because I'm sort of in an icy biome, it's liable to snow here, and since I haven't slept... Ooh, my eyes, oh my eyes. Uh, I haven't slept yet. I'm liable to get some snow uh, fall anytime soon. So let's get let's we gotta get moves and get a bed done. So once again, as I continue to do this, it's time for another discussion. So we talked about last last time about you know unfortunately the bad news of my cat, um, and actually you know what led into that was talks about being a YouTuber and how that doesn't going quite the way I thought it would. But, uh, so, you know, I am pretty much guessing that the average age of people who watch the videos are, well, I'm sure there's some teenagers. I don't know about any adults. Uh, I highly doubt any adults watch. Yeah, I don't know who you people are. <laughs> I'd like to get to know you. I really would. Uh, you gotta watch. You gotta comment. You gotta like. You gotta subscribe. You gotta get involved with the community here. If you want to be a part of the, the magic that is uh, the Angry Cast, uh, the magic of the failure that is the Angry Cast. But, uh, w you know, if you are young, and, you know, this is a good time of any, what, what is it you want to do? Do you want to be a YouTuber? Do you want to uh, grow up to be a programmer in computers? Do you want to be a doctor? I mean, what, what is it? Tell me what it is you out there want to do with your life. I mean, you want to just sit and play video games all day like I do? Wish I could? Because I'm telling you right now, if that's what you want to do, realize that it's, you know, once you start doing it for, for real, it becomes a job. You don't know how hard it is sometimes to come home from working 9 to 5 in the afternoon to sit down and say, I really got to record playing a video game or I'm going to, you know, let things slip away. And as it is, I don't post as regularly as I'd like to. Uh, it's hard. It is actually hard to make time to play video games and record because you have to have a strategy for your content. You really have to to have some sort of goal and direction. And I've always I, and Bailey is a prime example because she has become this sort of uh, you know amateur novice YouTube. Um, recorder because through me using my channel but you know here's the thing she she's eight or she will be eight and she's already you know on a lot of YouTube videos on my channel you know granted it's still a very small um, amount of viewership but hey you know what other eight-year-olds do you know can can say that they are part of a YouTube channel I always tell her, what is your goal when you're making the video? What is it that you are trying to accomplish when you start out? Because sometimes she will get, she will have an idea in her head and she will start to to, to set things up and she, and she does. I will give her credit. I will give her so much credit for taking the time to set up. She's working right now on a video. She hasn't started filming it yet. She's still just setting up this zoo in Minecraft using a, a mod. Um, a couple of different mods, and she wants to showcase it. She wants to do sh mod showcases. Granted, they're mods that have been out for two or three years, and she doesn't understand the concept of of things that are out. You know, if it's, she just sees it on YouTube yesterday, she thinks it just happened yesterday. Uh, object permanence in the YouTube world is still sort of a foreign concept to her. But she has really taken the time to go through and set up this entire zoo. I'd love to go take a peek at it, but I'm afraid to. I don't want to ruin it for when I see it, because, I mean, she's going to film the video eventually, and I'm going to edit it. 
and I just want to be surprised. I just want to be surprised because, after all, my first adventure map for the channel, my first adventure map was a, a, an adventure map created by her. I, you know, and it was small. It was so. It was just so fun to play because she really. I mean, she was six, and she built her own little world. You know, granted, it was very small. It only, like, lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. But I'm proud of her for that. I'm proud of my kid for taking, you know, the the initiative to to go out and plan this whole idea for, for this uh, this map and, and give it a story and everything else. I mean, she's really, really imaginative and creative. And, unfortunately, that sort of gets her labeled as being, um, you know, unruly. Because she likes to engage people, she likes to talk, she likes to be social with her friends, and you know, really, school isn't the the greatest place for that to happen at her age. She doesn't understand the idea that you have to kind of like sit down and be quiet and, and you know do these things, and it's rough for her because she really wants to just be a part of this 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 social experiment that is school. And she she's not a dumb kid; she's very bright. Um, she's just has so much creativity that it's hard for her to focus it into the time and you know and the plans of, of what a uh, an administration wants her to do. And I don't think that's wrong, and I don't want to discourage her desire to be creative. I think that's the best thing in the world for her to be. Yeah, there, here comes the snow. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, I'm, you know what? I'm going to start going to get a shovel together so I can scoop this stuff up because one of the challenges is, of course, getting a uh, making some snow golems. So we'll have that ready to go. So I have a plenty of, of cobblestone. Now I can actually make some regular tools. I better get some, some good tools going. So yeah, she is, you know, she is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to She's, she's very analytical. She's got a very analytical mind when it comes to uh, uh, figuring out how much I'm screwing her over in the way of, uh, <laughs> you know, when she wants, when she wants something and how I to totally take it away from her. <laughs> oh, we got a mob over there. How about that? Oh, we should be able to get over there and get some stuff, but I'm not prepared for that yet. I'm nowhere near prepared to go against the mobs in this world. But, uh, yeah. So what is it you want to do? I mean, do you find it hard to keep focused in class because you're thinking about other things? Or do you just think you're not given the, 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 the preparation that you need to get things done? Talk to me. Hey, I'm an adult. True. I may not understand what it's like to be your age, but you know what? I was there once too. And, and, and granted, me being... A teenager in the late 80s, early 90s is a far cry from what it is to be now. But things never change. Peer pressure doesn't change. In fact, it's probably uh, it's probably worse now because of social media and how um, you are sort of pushed into doing things because you have a much bigger forum. But there's also more repercussions. walked right into it. It's, it's, um, you know, I loved, I loved high school. I was hardly ever in class because I was always doing something. Um, I had three classes my senior year. Three, you know, my three row classes were sociology, uh, sociology, French five, and English. Those are my three classes. Everything else was sort of an elective. Because, and not because I didn't test out of anything. It's just that, you know, in, in my school, you could get away with uh, finishing up two math credits and being done. I didn't want to take calculus, because when am I ever going to use calculus? Never! Realized that, you know, probably being a programmer or coding in, in uh, computer science, probably needed calculus for that, but... Calculus, schmalculus. Who needs calculus? <laughs> I I will tell you, you do need math. Okay, I will say, 
a hundred thousand times to you, YouTube uh, youth of America, that math is important. You will need math. And you just don't think you do, but you do. It, it, it's something that you can't understand at your age. And realize this. Your parents do understand. They understand what you're going through. They really, really do. Give them more credit than they, than you give them. It, they were your age once. And they've heard it all before. And they probably used the same excuses you used at one time. So just realize that your parents were your age. And when they tell you that, you know, to not do something or to not, um, you know, you can't do something. It's not because they are being mean and don't understand you. It's because they know they've been there. They've been down that path. They know where it leads to. And they don't want to see you waste the same efforts and have the same issues. Because we're all in this together, man. Your parents are going to be your biggest critic and your, and your, and your biggest supporter. That's, you know, don't ever think that your parents don't care about you. They do. You got to keep them in the loop, though, man. You got to keep parents in the loop. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on in our lives. I mean, there are so many things that you will never know that your parents do for you. You, you know, you have this device, this computer, this laptop, this, you know, tablet, whatever you're watching these videos on. You have that probably because they gave it to you and there are some times that you know they wish they could give you more there's sometimes they wish they could give themselves more and chances are they're giving it to you instead of them it's it is uh it's rough being a parent it's rough being an adult try not to be an adult unless you have to but there are times when you probably don't see it your parents might be staying up late worrying looking at, at papers trying to figure out how am i going to get this kid into a first-rate college or university and be able to put food on the table and keep the roof above our heads and, uh, you know, get, a, get them to and from soccer practice. And they push you. It's because they believe in you and they want you to be better than they were when they you were their age. It's so hard to adult today. I mean, you will see a thousand posts on Facebook about what it was like when we were kids and about how we should, you know, teach you like we were taught. And yeah, we should. But we shouldn't discount the fact that it's a different world than it was when we were that age. Something's never changed, but it's hard to... It's hard to parent in a world where everything is constantly under scrutiny. Where everything is always looked at through the lens of what can you be doing that is wrong. Not, have I learned all of the information about a situation before I pass judgment on people. That's the problem with today, is that everything is so sliced and diced into these little segments of contextual evidence that it makes our entire existence put under a microscope and never looked at with the full context it deserves. And I'm probably rambling on way too long about these things, but I want you to know that it's not any easier when you get older, but it can be a lot more enjoyable if you allow yourselves the opportunity to be a part of something. And that could be a pet's life, that could be a, a band, a community channel, a server on, you know, for Minecraft, it can be anything. You can do a lot of things with your life and have an impact like you've never known. And it's, and it's up to you, man. I don't want Bailey to grow up in a world where she isn't a kid first, and then, you know, something else second. But the one thing I always try to teach her is awareness. You know, 
what is it that you as an as a kid need to know that we love you that we support you that we will always take care of you and that you can do anything that's all you got to worry about let us worry about the big stuff let your let your parents worry about the big stuff just be a kid but be aware of what you're doing as a child be aware that your actions have repercussions be aware that everything around you is a part of something bigger and don't forget that you are you are unique and that's great but you are still a part of the world and while no one is better than you you are better than no one else and I know that probably doesn't really make a lot of sense but just go with me on it 